What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we're no longer packed up and in a giant box wrapped up here. The farm is back up and running. If you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to the video in the upper right hand corner, but our farm has been down for a week. We are back up and running, thank goodness. A bunch of our stuff is out here, all of our mining parts and stuff as we've been getting the mining room finished up here. Um, lots of goodies in here. Most of these are all empty boxes, I'll be honest with you. There's some other goodies here and there, uh, some parts that we have in here, all the other fun good stuff. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about our progress in the other room. By the way, working here, single monitor now. Let's talk about this other room here. So, our office, has gotten some coats of primer on it, as you guys can see. Got our tape out. We have a door, we have a door, yes. Um, this is the color that it will be. And uh, coming along well, we're gonna talk about this stuff here in just a minute, but the whole rest of the room, it still needs a few more coats. But here is our mining room door. And let's take a look at our mining room here. Uh, it doesn't have all the extra stuff in it, but it is painted. You can kind of see that gray color here versus the white, uh, but still lots of work to do, but we have it pretty empty now. Just our mining rigs in here, which is the way I wanted it. Uh, but yeah, it's getting there. We're gonna be starting our networking here soon, putting in our network rack right there. So uh, yeah, progress is good. Mining room 77 degrees right now, so we know that's a huge home run. Anyways, we're not here to talk about the mining room, but wanted to give you guys a quick little update. And uh, yeah, so let's close this up here. Doesn't even stay closed because there's no door handle. <laughs> but let's talk about this stuff right here. Okay, so let's open this box up real quick. No one on the internet sends boxes <laughs> with a cat on them other than Mr. Chump Change. And we have our first pocket change sticker, so that is awesome. So I reached out to pocket change the other day. Uh, I'm working on an H510 uh, um, riserless motherboard build, and I need some motherboard standoffs. So my man Chump Change took care of me, as he always does. I like destroyed this box opening up earlier. So these are motherboard mounts. Let me open this up. Okay, so check this out. <laughs> This is a motherboard mount. Um, with the H510 um, motherboard, it's not traditionally gonna go in like your, it's not gonna fit in a traditional case. So the crew over at Misfits Mining and Chump Change 3D print these. So uh, if you need to mount this to a wall or to a surface or something like that, I'm gonna be going ahead and putting the, I'm gonna be custom building in the next few weeks a case, a frame should I say, uh, much larger one, almost like an eight GPU size VETA frame style, but out of um, custom aluminum uh, angle that I bought. So it should be really interesting, but I needed something to put the motherboard on. And these are awesome. Look at these things, 3D printed. They got this little stand in here, so we'll put it, push it down, it'll pop right in, in the motherboard. So check them out, I'll put a link down below. Uh, thank you very much to Chump Change for sending these over. Okay, so now that we're five minutes into our video, let's finally talk about today's topic. So I've been, real, I've been having a really hard time getting my hands on motherboard CPU combos for reasonable prices. And some of my previous videos, you guys have seen that we've actually been buying some stuff from China, which the pricing is really good and exactly what we're looking for for mining six to seven PCIe slot motherboards. They're awesome, works perfect, but they take like 30 to 40 days to get in. So in the meantime, I've been trying to source some of my hardware locally. And as you guys know, I do buy a lot of stuff from like Facebook Marketplace or Offers Up. And this was a Facebook Marketplace buy. So this is kind of what we bought is this pre-built PC. Quote, the way it's labeled was a gaming PC. So I looked at this, it was listed for $400. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna strip it out and show, uh, take a look and show everything to you guys. But it's this like military style S case. You see how it has these here? Look at this little button. <laughs> High and low for a fan controller. Like it's pretty cool. 400 bucks, not too bad. We're not gonna keep the case, we're gonna sell it. Uh, but that being said, look, it's got a little red button on the front. That's cool. So anyways, it was $400 list. I didn't pay 400. 
for this gaming computer and this 21.5 inch Acer monitor. So $400 monitor and a gaming PC. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, that's the dog. Hi, you coming to say hi? <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. So I am gonna strip this down to give you guys a better view. But let's pop this off. Okay, so 400 bucks, what are we getting for $400? So at first glance, the, the uh, motherboard was not listed as to what it was, but the CPU was. The CPU was listed as an Intel i7-4770K. So I was like, all right, cool. We can do some damage with that, some, uh, some CPU mining. It then was listed for a GeForce GTX 1060. And I was like, all right, cool. And the way the picture looked online, I thought it was like a mini. Um, and other than that, I wasn't really interested in anything else in here, but I went for it. So here's why, and I don't know if I could show you on the camera. Here's why I was really interested in this. PCIe slots, one, two, and there's a third one behind it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven PCI slots. So I reached out to the guy and asked him for the model and he shot me a picture of the model of the motherboard and that's when I knew I had something I was looking for. I wanted a CPU and motherboard combo to be putting into my rigs. Cause as you guys know, motherboard, you know, mining motherboards are so hard to come by and I'm really finding a lot of utility for these MSI boards that are coming with six to seven PCIe slots. So, let me go ahead and strip this down, pull it all apart, because we're not using it for a standard PC setup like this, and then we'll take a closer look at all the parts. Okay, we got this sucker stripped down. Dude, this room is just like a white room. <laughs> it's crazy the way this is set up. White table, white walls. Anyways, we have everything stripped down. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. I did use my iFixit kit. I know a lot of you guys are always looking for uh, kits for um, mining, you know, repairs and working on your computers and working on mining stuff. I use the iFixit kit. I really, really like it. Uh, I love the fact that just like everything is magnetized. It does really, really well. So I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so uh, it will go ahead and benefit the channel if you're interested. I don't remember what this cost. I think it was, don't quote me, maybe 30, 30 bucks maybe. So anyways, what was in this setup? that we went ahead and bought. We're calling this the, the military gaming PC. And then I'll tell you guys the final price at the end. So our 21.5 inch Acer monitor. Uh, if you guys are curious, it has DVI and VGA. Okay. So we have a one terabyte uh, Western digital drive. All right, cool. We'll take it 7,200 RPMs. Not bad. A Samsung Evo 250 gig solid state. That's a big win right there. We're gonna repurpose that. Uh, it's almost overkill for a mining rig. Here is our EVGA GeForce GTX 1060. Man, can't wait. This thing actually is cleanest thing out of the entire rig. Uh, we have two sticks here of, let's see. We have DDR, I know, I think this is DDR3 um, memory here. Uh, so 16 gigs total uh, between the two which is pretty sweet, but hey, we'll take it. Don't need to put in anything else crazy. It's got the nice heat, heat sinks. Look at these things. He went completely like military-esque build out. Very cool. So here's the motherboard that we were talking about. So look at the size of the heat sinks on this thing. So originally I had, to, during the conversation with him, I was chatting through Facebook Marketplace. I asked him to take a few extra pictures in the motherboard and then I went searching for on MSI's website uh, to try to figure it out because I couldn't quite read out Z87 GD65 Gaming. Uh, but I finally figured it out like on my own by just looking at like some of the parts on it and the design on it. So I hit him up and was like, hey, is that the Z87? And he was like, yes. And I was like, thank God. Like, I'm so happy. Like, th this is my crown jewel. Um, so yeah, as we said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven PCI slots. So I'm so excited for that. Three of them here uh, as the X16, which is awesome. So that was a huge win as well as the CPU. As you can see, the case is stripped out. Now here was a little fun prize. So yes, it's semi-modular, 
If you guys aren't familiar, semi-modular means that some of the cables uh, are hard tied into the power supply and then you have your optional ones here on the back. Traverses, the best ones that I really enjoy and are great for mining setups are fully modular because with mining, we're really not using everything under the sun here, but here is the big win. I did not realize, let's see if I can get this focus. This is a Coolmax ZU-1000B. This is a 1000 watt. Now granted, it's an 80 plus bronze, but this is a 1000 watt power supply. I just bought a, let's go find it real quick. Walk with me people, walk with me. I just bought this 1000 watt EVGA gold for $220. And then uh, for the for this build right here that we were just talking about the H510, so we just went ahead and got this as part of this whole setup here. So all said and done, what was our pool? What was our what was the loot you know that we got here? I ended up paying three hundred fifty dollars. So it was listed for four hundred. I responded to him within five hours on Facebook Marketplace. I said, I'll give you 300. He got back to me and said, hey, can you do 350? And I told him I could do 350 if he met same day. And we met that night, really nice guy, swapped it up and bam, here we are. So for $350, we have a 1060, which I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's a 1060, it's six gig, you know, what are you gonna do with that? I mean, it's mine's Ethereum. Um, you know, we could do pretty well on it, uh, 20 to 23 mega hash on it right now. Um, and then on top of that though, then you get a motherboard that's a seven slot PCI, 150 maybe you could say, uh, an i7 4770K. And then the big pool here is just the 1000 watt power supply. And then, oh, sure, throw in a Samsung Evo. Uh, oh, and I'm, how about a monitor too while we're at it? So we made out like a bandit. So of course, after that now, I'm like looking everywhere to try to find locally any more of these pre-builds. I almost had a second one. The guy had it listed at $1,000 and then bumped it down to 600 bucks. And I messaged him and told him I would do 350 for it. And uh, he accepted, he's like, all right, sounds good. And then he actually blew me off. He never showed up uh, to the meetup and never responded back to me. So that kind of sucked. Uh, but it was another setup like, a, a, and I was so excited. because I was like, yes, I can do a video with two setups. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I would recommend that if you're in my situation where you can't afford to go out and buy these $3,000 GPUs and all this money on brand new power supplies and brand new motherboards, maybe take um, a note from some of my practices and keep an eye out on Facebook Marketplace and Offers Up and eBay and Craigslist and do some of these local meetups and get creative. I got creative and I went super low. I never expected them to accept the price and they did. And I was like, oh my gosh. So this was a huge win for me. Uh, I'm super excited about it. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.